hi guys welcome back to this Django tutorial series on my channel now in this video we're going to start with the fun stuff we're going to integrate our database into our Django project now if you remember in the last video I showed you guys how to install PostgreSQL and then PG admin so you guys can set up database with your Django project now in this video we're going to set up the database so before you do anything first of all after having Postgres and PG Admin installed, open up your PG Admin, and when you open it up, you should see something like this. Now, when you open it up, you see something like this. It will ask you to put in your master password. Just put in that password and never forget it. Then we're going to open this server. Another database. We're going to create a new database. Let's call the name of the database my site, and let's save the database. Now, when we are saving this database, we successfully created a new database. Let's wait for something to pop up here, I think. Let me open this. Okay, yes, it says Postgres my site database connected. It has successfully created a new database. Now, let's go and connect that database we created into this our Django project. For us to do this, we need to head over to our settings.py file in our my site project folder. And then we need to look for database. Now, when we see databases, you see that as a default, it uses SQLite, but we don't want to use that. What we want to use is PostgreSQL. So now, for us to do this, we are just going to change some things. Django.db.backend.postgreSQL. PostgreSQL. This is what we need to change, and a few more. Then the name, what we're going to type in this name is the name of your database. If you come in here, the name of our database is my site, basically. So we're going to come here and type my site. And then we're going to type in the user. The user is Postgres, as you can see. Postgres. Okay. guys make sure you don't make any typographical error now we need to type in our password that's the master password that said you should put in when you first install pg admin right, let's just type in our password now the last thing we need to type in is our host for now we're still running on local host so now let's put in local host Basically, we have everything set up now. Now, we need to convert all the old tables in our models of py file. We need to convert all the objects into tables for database. If we try to take this into our database, it won't form any table now because this is not the format for a database table. So let's make a few changes. First, to do this, we need to open a bracket here and type model. Models dot model like this this is how we need to type it and then in each object or let me say in each table we're going to make a few we're going to make a few changes it's not going to be column again it's going to be equals to i'm going to type models dot character field let's specify the max length this max length basically means the maximum amount of characters that can be inside this field. Let's decide it to be 100. I don't think anybody has that name long. Now we're going to change this. This should be an integer field. Max length. We don't need a max length for this. And the bio should be let's say a text field let's put it as a character field also models dot character field max length let's put the max length to 1000 i think it's okay like this now we give it a max length of 1000 and when we save this we can now turn this or let's say migrate this into our databases 
Okay, it's giving us an error. It says no attribute integer field. That's because this is meant to be a capital letter. Now when we save this, we shouldn't have any error. Char field. Again. I don't think we should have error now. Okay. They're not split our playbill. So now, guys, what we need to do now is to specify this app, my app, in our settings of file. To do this, we'll come here and click go to installed apps and then all we need to do is just to type my app that's the name of the app you created now this error should go that's it now since we have all this configured we can now successfully migrate our models field into our database here now if we go to schemas and if we click on tables basically we don't see any table yet yet but we're going to migrate it and we should have some tables let me just opt out of this server. Now, for us to migrate our databases, our models of py databases, into our main database, what we're going to type is Python three manage dot py make migrations. It has successfully made a migration, and now let's migrate it. We're going to type Python three manage.py follow me guys sql migrate it's supposed to be sql not spl sql migrate my app 0001 now it has as you see it says it has created a table in our database now let's migrate that table manage.py migrate let me come here and put Python 3. I'm on a Mac now, so I'm only using Python 3. If you're on a Windows, just use Python. Now you see it's running all the migrations successful. Now when we come here and then we refresh this table, let's say refresh. You now see that we have a bunch of tables. We have auto auth user, auth group, and everything we need. And then we have my app profile. My app is the name of our app, and profile is the name of the model under my app. Now, when we expand this, all we just need to do is to view data all rows. Now, as you guys can see, we have successfully created a database. Now, you see we have a name in which the max length is 100, an age, an integer, and then bio. And then, remember I told you guys to not put an ID. It's automatically going to create an ID. That's what I meant. Now basically, this is how to integrate a database into your Django application. So in the, that's going to be all for this video. In the next video, we're going to go deeper into Django databases and rendering database, saving and retrieving database, let's say adding and fetching database. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are doing, please don't forget to smash the like button on this video. And please subscribe if you are new. And don't forget to turn on the post notification so you get notified when I drop new videos. Having that said, bye for now.